Hi everyone, it's your favorite Roblox Wikia administrator, Ace Baton Fan. I want to give you guys a step-by-step -step example of how to use talk pages on the wiki. So the benefit of using the talk pages now is that when our community moves to Wikia's new unified community platform, we will still be able to use our frequently used wiki text features such as our templates. So let's begin by going on to my talk page. As you can see, I have just emptied it out and pasted my old message while reading. For many of you, your talk page will your talk page will also be empty because you have joined the wiki after we added in message walls. Think of talk pages like your usual wiki page. You have the classic section divisions that break up the article. Similarly, talk pages will use the same divisions to break down conversations. I am going to go ahead and leave a message on another administrator's wall to show you how to post a conversation. So here we are on Mr. Karasunif. So first off, we have our leave a message button. Click on that button and it's gonna take you to what looks like an empty page. This is where your conversation with that editor is gonna go. The first thing I wanna do is put in a subject before I forget. You can do this two ways, but the easier way that I found is to go ahead and put it in the subject headline section or what we older people might've seen as the edit summary section. So I'm gonna go ahead, say hello, say hi to the video. And then whenever I do publish this edit or save the conversation, it will actually go ahead and convert everything to the perfect wiki text. So it will all look nice and pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in something silly. So hello, how are you doing? I cannot make a video for my life. I've already went ahead and posted my informate my conversation. The next step is something very, very, very important and something that we will be implementing all over the Wikia and definitely leaving a lot of message messages about. You want to make sure that you have your signature in there. So the signature is going to let the person know who sent them the message as well as when they sent them the message. So you can do that by pressing either the signature button right here or whenever you use um, source mode, you can use four squiggly lines like what I've done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a preview of what the edit will look like. So it says, hello, how are you doing? But then it also says my name, links to my talk page and when I made the edit. Let's go ahead and publish. So if you forget your signature, you will receive a pop-up from, from fandom that reminds you to put in your signature before you can save the edit. This is able to be overridden, but I don't recommend that. So while we've been posting on his message wall, it looks like he also posted on my talk page. So let's go ahead and reply to him. Since the conversation has already been started, I don't wanna press the leave a message button. Instead, I am gonna go down to the conversation and click the edit button right here. It will take you to the conversations page where you will be able to type out your reply. So as I said, this is where using your signature is pretty important as you will be able to see, okay, who has written the message, especially whenever we are having some conversations that are multiple editors deep. Let me go ahead and leave him a reply. I am doing great. And a signature. So we'll go ahead and send that. Let's go ahead and do a quick preview for you guys. So you can see my reply, hello, I am doing great. For some of you who also really like formatting, you do have the option of going ahead and increasing or decreasing the indent, as well as also putting in another heading like, I am doing great today. Just a little thing to make it unique. Let's go ahead and publish it. So now let's go ahead and go on to our wiki page talk pages. So this is also very similar to what we did earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the Telemon page and show you how to make a comment there. So what I'm gonna go first is click on this little downward arrow. It's gonna go ahead and show me a menu option where we usually use it to take a look at the history. Down there, there's gonna be a section called talk. I'm gonna click that to create the talk page for this for this community page because it hasn't been created before. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my heading. So 
I love Telemont. And then I'm gonna go ahead and post my content. So I also love fried chicken. Yum, finger licking good, yummy. I'm gonna go ahead and put my signature in. I'm gonna go ahead and add a quick edit summary also, just because I like to say what, what I did, leaving a comment. I wanna go ahead and take a quick preview, just make sure everything looks okay. And you can see that everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it. And that goes ahead and puts in a new topic for that top page. And just like the message walls, now that we have put in a new topic, we can go ahead and add a topic if we wanted to, or we can reply to that topic. So that is it for this quickie tutorial on how to do, how to use, how to utilize talk pages. If you have any questions, I can definitely be reached on my new talk page.